difficult one, but it was certainly in there for a long time. O'Donnell bravely dived forward, but his hands to it trickled through. Ten runs off, three balls. Not quite straight here. A valiant attempt to grab that by O'Donnell. He's a pretty good outfielder. Both of them luck running his way. Luck favours the brave. Full pitch. There it goes. That's four more. 27,000 people and the commentators stand up. What a performance. Great hitting by the great all-rounder. Well, I think I'll stand up too, Bill. Union Jack's going everywhere here at the Wacker. The light's not turned on yet, but the, the spotlight certainly here on this man, Ian Botham. Cricket needs a man like this to keep playing. And that's 53. You don't have to run for that, Ian Botham. That is 40 metres back. One of the all-time great knocks in one day international cricket here at the Wacker. The crowd standing to their feet. What a great effort by the great all-rounder. Well, you dream about bringing up a 50 with a 6 or a 100, and both of them was going to do it right from the very beginning of this over. A standing ovation. He has really worried the spectators straight here at the Wacker. On the left-hand side of the side screen, on the right-hand side of the side screen, and that one 30 rows back, and here we go again. It's a full safe. It'll split the gap. That'll go for six more. What a hit. What an over for England. Not so for Simon Davis. Irving Rose and Waters Red Pen's gone berserk. Three fours and two sixes for the great all-rounder. Three for 252. Reed. That's out. Yes, Reed strikes. Alan Lamb caught behind. The end of the final innings. Bruce Reed and Zura dismiss Alan Lamb for a fine 60 odd. A wicket just at the right time. Good performance by Reed, but to be honest, the both of them assault probably stopped the momentum of Lamb a little bit. Again, we see Zora take the catch. He's third today. A little bit tight for room there. Not the ideal ball to be trying to glide. But no one in slip. It was on. He paid the penalty. Mike getting to the crease. Four for 256. Stephen War. Oh, he's hit that over point. That'll be four more. There's nobody down there. And this is a batting exhibition of the top order. And that shot's not in the coaching manual. He stepped back towards the square leg umpire to make room for himself. His former county teammate, Viv Richards, a very good exponent of this shot. Off leg stump, one or two bounces <laughs> over point and into the fence. Well, what an extraordinary knock we're seeing here. Out, he's gone, the end of a great innings. The crowd ball, both of them out for 68. Port Zura, Bold War, a magnificent short innings, a standing ovation, great entertainment. Well, it's difficult to put into words uh, just how good a knock, how important a knock this one is to England in this vital match here. The West Indies shock lost yesterday, the day before. Means the loser will front up to the mighty West Indies, but both of them shows the bat, acknowledges the crowd. He's got to walk through the space. He hit two magnificent sixes on the onside. Another one over mid-off. Never just saw that boundary through point. He gave the bat the ball of the charge. And there it is. Well, a congratulations. He's come a long way to see that knock. He'll never, ever forget it. He certainly won't, Max. And the standing ovation, and rightly so. As we see Stephen Moore pitch short. Both of them was after him. Got the edge. Zura did the rest. And a slight relief for the Australian team, but he certainly lifted that run rate up to 5.51 in one of the best hitting exhibitions you will ever see.